This is an important announcement from the Ministry of ASMR. My name is Badger, and I'm here to give you some very important information about ASMR, what it is, what it is not, and to clear up some myths surrounding ASMR. So please, get around your families, sit back, relax, and listen carefully to this very important announcement from the Ministry of ASMR. Autonomous sensory meridian response is an experience characterized by a static-like or tingling sensation on the skin that typically begins at the scalp and moves down the back of the neck and upper spine. It has been compared with auditory tactile synesthesia. Autonomous sensory meridian response, or ASMR, signifies the subjective experience of low-grade euphoria characterized by a combination of positive feelings and a distinct static-like tingling sensation on the skin. It is most commonly triggered by specific acoustic, visual or digital media stimuli. The sensation and how it is triggered. The sensation, the subjective experience, sensation and perceptual phenomenon now widely identified by the term ASMR, is described by some as akin to a mild electrical current or decarbonated bubbles in a glass of champagne. The truth is, ASMR is usually precipitated by stimuli referred to as triggers. ASMR triggers, which are most commonly acoustic and visual, may be encountered through the interpersonal interactions of daily life. Additionally, ASMR is often triggered by exposure to specific audio and video. Such media may be especially made with the specific purpose of triggering ASMR, or originally created for other purposes and later discovered to be effective as a trigger of the experience. Such media may be especially made with the specific purpose triggering ASMR, or originally created for other purposes, and later discovered to be effective as a trigger of the experience. Stimuli that can trigger ASMR, as reported by those who experience it, include the following. Listening to a softly spoken or whispering voice. Listening to quiet, repetitive sounds, resulting from someone engaging in a mundane task such as turning the pages of a book, watching somebody attentively execute mundane tasks such as preparing food, receiving altruistic, tender personal attention, furthermore, watching and listening to an audiovisual recording of a person performing or simulating the above actions and producing their consequent and accompanying sounds is sufficient to trigger ASMR for the majority of those who report susceptibility with experience. ASMR triggers typically originate from human behaviours. Triggering behaviours are reportedly consistent with behaviours arising from individuals who are fully present in any given moment, as described in Buddhist texts. For example, in the book Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism, Tibetan Buddhist Chogyama Trungpa, description of a fully present person performing a Japanese tea ceremony is consistent with descriptions of visual ASMR triggers. If you pour a cup of tea, you are aware of extending your arm and touching your hand to a teapot, lifting it and pouring the water. Finally, the water touches your teacup and fills it, and you stop pouring and put the teacup down precisely. Each precise movement has dignity. In the same text, a description of how a fully present person speaks is consistent with descriptions of verbal ASMR triggers. Every pause made in the process of speaking becomes a kind of punctuation. Speak, allow space. Speak, allow space. It is beautiful that you are not rushing, that you are not talking at tremendous speed or raucously. And now, ASMR artists. Adopted by YouTubers who commonly post videos of themselves creating videos that trigger the ASMR response. Spawn 
the unofficial title to which they call themselves ASM artists. These are individuals who invoke the ASMR reaction or response, or otherwise known as the ones who execute the triggers for visual and audible pleasure. I will now provide further in-depth information regarding certain common triggers, along with helpful examples. Whispering triggers. Psychologists Nick Davis and Emma Barrett discovered that whispering was an effective trigger for 75% of the 475 subjects who took part in an ASMR experiment to investigate the nature of ASMR, and that statistic is reflected in the popularity of intentional ASMR videos that comprise someone speaking in a whispered voice. And now, a helpful example. of intentional ASMR videos that stimulate the provision of personal attention is a subcategory of those specifically depicting the ASM artist providing clinical or medical services, including routine general medical examination. Creative 
basis of these videos make no claims to the reality of what is depicted and the viewer is intended to be aware that they are watching and listening to a simulation performed by an actor. Nonetheless, many subjects attribute therapeutic outcomes to these and other categories of intentional ASMR videos and our voluminous anecdotal reports of their effectiveness in inducing sleep for those susceptible to insomnia and assuaging a range of symptoms including those associated with depression, anxiety and panic attacks. And now a helpful example. Hello, I am your doctor. How are you feeling today? Mm. Very good. Mm. Interesting. Now, how long have you been feeling like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just make some notes. Medical notes for I am a doctor. Okay. This has been an announcement from the Ministry of ASMR. Good day.